Yo, what up, it's Don. Same in the year. We are the Soul Brothers. Shout out to all the peasants out there that got to play outdoors. Oh, that's sad. We feel for you guys. Yes. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I, yeah, yeah, that's most of the time I've been hooped in my life is outdoors. Yeah. Uh, but it is a little rough out there. Yeah. You do need some different things in your shoe. Yes. If you're going to be hooping outdoors, obviously durability is a concern. Durability is probably number one. Right? Yeah. Durability. Also price. I mean. Yeah, price. Well, durability is number one, but yeah. price. Uh, you know, three. You know, two hundred dollars shoe outside. But, I mean, but if you're paying a good amount of money for a really durable shoe yep. and like really good quality and stuff, I think it should be okay. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about all this individually with each shoe. Um, but yeah, I think durability is number one, obviously. Uh, number two is probably what? Um, Maybe, I guess price, right? Price, or, oh, yeah, price, but then a close third or maybe even two would be cushion. cushion? Yeah, Yeah, because, exactly. you know, concrete, it, it gives you no play, super no. rough on your legs. Yeah, um, yeah so you do so, want cushion. For sure. Definitely, and uh, that's probably around, yeah, about it. I mean, traction is not very, very important because it usually most shoes stick. Yeah. Unless there's a lot of like what, like dust and debris on it. Yeah. There's not a lot you can do about that. Usually, also, there's also there's different types of outdoor surfaces. You know, yeah, when you play yeah. indoors, it's just wood. But yeah. outside, it could be asphalt. It could be more concrete. The asphalt could be kind of messed up and more rough. Yeah. You know, exactly. so you know it, it can vary quite a bit. Another pro tip is don't get a white colorway. No. Or a or material ever. that's gonna get really, really dirty. Just, Your shoes are gonna yeah, get dirty. Exactly, exactly. So uh, this is our list, um, updating our top outdoor shoes for you guys. If you guys want to copy any of these shoes, we'll leave links below. But let's start off with the LeBron Soldier Twelve. LeBron Soldier Twelve, I think, is like 140 bucks. Pretty, on uh, actually, that's a little bit expensive, um, but the outsole seems pretty good, and you have. Also, like for toe drags, I mean, I do toe drags, but Donnie Boy doesn't really do toe drags, so it all depends on how you play. If you do toe drags, we'll tell you if the shoe is good for toe drags, and so the toe is good because it has like a uh, harder, you know, synthetic suede or whatever material leather uh, is on that colorway. And a uh, cushion isn't the greatest, but uh, it seems pretty dur durable. So yeah. uh, there's a Soldier 12. Uh, next shoe is the LeBron Witness Tree. Mm. You yeah, uh, very very hard rubber, so uh, rubber also seems like it's going to last a while. The material doesn't seem like it's gonna last a while, especially with that uh, kind of knit textile upper. And also, if you do, if you do toe drags, it's probably gonna rip a hole through the upper. Um, but other than that, it seems pretty durable, and it's only ninety bucks, pretty cheap. Hello, cheap. Yes. Uh, also, the cushion is is okay. Um, actually, no, I would say it's pretty bad, especially for outdoor use. So if you need cushion, you should probably stay away from these. Uh, next shoe is the Jordan Jumpman Hustle, which is 110, 120 bucks. Already cheap, but it's on sale. Crazy sales yeah. everywhere. And not a bad looking shoe. We, we really like the way it looks, but yeah. aside from the looks, performance is solid. Traction is uh, pretty durable. Uh, indoor courts, it bites like crazy. So outdoor courts, you should be uh, pretty good to go to. Cushion is also uh, actually not that bad either. There's a nice chunky uh, midsole, give you a good amount of impact protection. And the upper material is pretty damn durable as well. Yes. And overall cheap shoe, so exactly. good outdoor shoe. Uh, next shoe is the Under Armour Curry 6. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's the <laughs> Under Armour <laughs> Hover Havoc uh, High or Low, it doesn't really matter. Uh, materials, very, very uh, durable, it, especially if you're doing toe drags, there is a lot of fuse on that toe toe cap or whatever so you're gonna be good if you do toe drags uh traction seems pretty durable it's a hard rubber cushion could uh, be a little bit better especially with the hover but um it's better than uh just really stiff foam so there's the havocs and it's cheap yeah pretty damn cheap like 100 bucks uh next shoe is the wild seven wild seven is real expensive really expensive but i mean the cushion is really nice uh the rubber seems really you know hard and durable and you have a like shroud, like leather synthetic material shroud over your toe for toe drag. So it uh, seems like overall really durable shoe as well. It's just the only thing that sucks about that shoe is the price. So, um, but for outdoor use, it's good. Next shoe is the Wade All City 7. Uh, all cheaper, 140 bucks, but really durable it seems like. You know, materials, traction, and all that seems really durable, especially for toe drags as well. And the cushion is not bad. So, uh, uh, I, I'm speculating there's like a lot of outdoor courts in China. I, I think so. Because like, uh, the, the Chinese companies seem to make their shoes usually, 
you know, ready to go for outdoor use. Yes, definitely. Which is good. Which is good, yeah. All right, next shoe is the Puma Clyde Court Disrupting. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, over, I mean, it's a knit upper, but it's pretty strong of a knit upper, which is cool that the um, outsole is, is pretty damn durable as well. Do you think it'll be durable for toe drags though? Uh, not, you know, not the most durable. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's not like a crazy, crazy thin, soft knit. Uh -huh. it, it's pretty strong. Okay. So, but yeah, watch yourself on toe drags. Um, it's also kind of a heavy shoe. Also not the best uh, cushion setup, yeah. but impact protection is, is somewhat adequate. Uh, but yeah, not, not a bad choice for outdoor use. Okay, next shoe is the Adidas Ding 5. Overall, I, I, we feel like it's going to be a really durable shoe. The rubber's hard. Uh, the the toe doesn't really have any like reinforcement or fuse, but actually, so you probably, I don't think toe drags would be the best yeah. for the shoe, but cushion's not bad, and it's a pretty cheap shoe. Yeah, cushion's actually really good, oh, yeah. especially for this list. Exactly. All right, next shoe is the Marquee Boost. It's a little expensive. No, 120 130 I think. Um, but cushion's really great. If you need cushion, you know, boost, really nice. Uh, traction is a little bit like I would say softer than most of the rubbers on this uh, on this list, but it's still like pretty hard, and we feel like it should be okay for outdoor use. And also toe drags, there's not a lot of fuse, but it's a pretty thick like textile material, so you should be okay for toe drags. Like I I'd say similar to the Pumas, like not the best on for toe drags, but it's okay. And uh, I I feel like the plus of this shoe is probably just the the cushion. If you, if you guys yeah. get that. And same thing for the T Max, even though that that shoe is really expensive, one sixty. Yeah, really expensive, but it's mm. it's a lot more uh, robust of a shoe uh, than the Marquee. The, the yeah. upper is like a ton of synthetics. Yeah. Crazy a rubber heel counter in the toe or uh, toe counter. Um, you get a full length boost setup, which is super nice, super cushiony. I mean, it's a really really solid outdoor shoe. Yes. Like really good, except the price. Except for the price, yeah. one sixty. That's very expensive. And last but not least is the Adidas Pro Vision. Uh, I think it's like a hundred bucks, ninety bucks, something like that. You have a full length balance midsole, which feels nice. Rubber is really like pretty damn hard, and you have like a synthetic over or just a synthetic material in the toe area, so it should be okay for uh, toe drags as well. Um, so yeah, nice cheap shoe, and it seems pretty damn durable for outdoor use. So um, I feel like what what's the most? What about the Fly Trap Two? No, Fly Trap Two, I. I uh, it should be okay, but cushion's not good. Yeah. And the toe is just like it's, it's a like a thin yeah, textile. Yeah. Exactly. So, but it is super cheap. But yeah, yeah I, I, that's why I didn't include it because the cushion and the mm -hmm. material. So that's yeah, that's one thing. But anyways, uh, the best overall like all around shoe I think in on this list is probably the hustles, right? Yeah, the hustles. The, the, hustles. the havocs are pretty oh, good and too. And the havocs too. Those are two really good outdoor shoes. Yeah. You know, they got they kind of meet all the criteria. They're also like really neither of them are really expensive. Yeah, which is cool. You know, exactly. So we uh, most recommend those two shoes. But if you get any of these shoes for outdoor use, you guys should be okay. Um, but again, if you guys want to copy any of these, we'll leave links below. Hope you helped you guys out, and we'll see you guys next one. Later.